Hi everybody, thank you for joining us. Welcome to Sandra's Art Studio. Today we are going to do this adorable little painter's palette hair clip and we are going to use this material called high density polythene LED foam. And we are going to start by cutting out this oval shape with this what I call cookie cutter which I got from Amazon. It's actually for leather. It has been very handy to me. I use it a lot for um, the basic shape of most of my hair clips. So first I lay down uh, some cardboard and I do that because I don't want to damage the cookie cutter sharp edge with my floor and I don't work with leather so I'm you know improvising here. So I started off with a hammer and I don't recommend it. The hammer was just not a very good tool to um, use for this, although I did use a piece of wood and I, you know, I felt like there was a lot of bounce, bounce back. And at the end there was like no cut and this material is not that tough. So I thought it was very funny how I hammered and hammered and it just did not happen. So I changed tools and I switched to a rubber mallet and I went directly onto um, this cookie cutter and it worked just fine. So for your information, I cut a couple of different sizes, a small one and a large one, because I wanted to see how much hair uh, the large one and the small one was going to hold. And I was pleasantly surprised with both of them. It's funny now to see how I kept hitting it with the hammer and it was just not cutting quite all the way through. I could have whacked it a little harder, but I was afraid to damage the cookie cutter. So that's the reason why I was going kind of like gently and I didn't think it needed that much force. But anyway, at the end I just chose a rubber mallet and that worked just fine. Also, I found that it was very easy to realign my cookie cutter if I did not cut all the way through because you want to have a clean cut. You know, if you have to fix it with a scissors, it's not going to be that perfect as if you cut it all the way through with your cookie cutter. Okay, so I choose a hole punch that is also meant for leathers and I make sure that this hole punch is big enough to where my paintbrushes are going to go through all the way. All right, and so once I have my hole punch, I also make sure that that paintbrush is going to go right through just to make sure that everything is lining up the way I want. And the next thing is my favorite part, painting. So in this case, I chose puffy paints because of the texture. I really like that raised texture. It does a very nice imitation to when you are painting with, let's say, oils. You have all those paints and they're a little elevated, right? They don't just flatten out. Here I had a little explosion, but no big deal. I still use some of that paint and move on. Uh, actually, these puffy paints, I've had them for some time. So uh, I guess that would be a good excuse why the tops of these things kind of like exploded and broke on the side, which it was not the only one. It didn't only happen with pink. It happened with other colors too. So... Um, this is super easy. It just can't get any easier than this. Put a dab of color and let it dry for two or three days and you're pretty much ready to go. Now, in this case, I just want to explain something as you are watching the video. Okay. In this case, I aim to get materials that are hypoallergenic or they're, that are not going to affect my scalp because I've had issues with my scalp for a while and I'm very careful about using metals or chemicals, but I would have to say, hands down, cheap metals are the worst when it comes to affecting my scalp. It just makes it itch. I just can't handle it for more than five minutes. I mean, I can tell you right away um, when I wear a hair clip that is made out of cheap metal, I can tell you like in five minutes that it's not the real deal. Like it's not silver or it's not niobium or titanium or gold you know it has to be one of those materials if i'm going with metals so since i'm not going with metals then i want to use um, materials that are inert that are not going going to be affecting my uh, scalp as the day goes through so 
that I'm very conscious about, very careful. And that's why I use bamboo a lot. Bamboo sticks are like the bomb. I didn't know at the beginning that bamboo sticks are actually hypoallergenic and they are antimicrobial and they're cooling to the skin. Now we're doing the paintbrushes. So in this case, I got some paintbrushes that the handle is made out of plastic. And I looked everywhere for paintbrushes that the handle was made out of bamboo stick and I could not find it. Now for some of you that don't have any issues with your scalp, then plastic paintbrushes are good, ready to go. And your project is done. All you have to do is get the paintbrush and stick it through the painter's palette. But for me, I really like bamboo sticks because they are cooling to my scalp. So what I did is I exchanged all the handles for bamboo chopsticks. So once I cut the size I wanted, I polished the ends. I glued it together with the super glue, Loctite super glue, which is amazing. It works for everything. And then I applied a little bit of clear nail polish on the end of the stick and on the connection of the metal part and the stick and there it is that that was the whole project so i'm gonna just let you guys watch to the end this very simple and useful project and i hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial and give me of course a like and subscribe you know how it works and i hope i see you for the next project